Walter Borden. <laughs> How are you? Well, I'm hanging in. <laughs> That's all I can say. Oh, you're it doing is, more than hanging in. It's humid. It's humid. Mm. Yes, it is, yeah. All around. Tell me about uh, where you started, where you were born. I and when? Was, I was born in 1942, July the 20th. Just celebrated my 76th birthday. Totally surreal, but anyway. Hmm. New Glasgow, Nova Scotia. For those who don't know Nova Scotia and its history, uh, talk to me about that area of Nova Scotia and uh, the black community. Yes, uh, New Glasgow was and is, but uh, particularly at that time, one of the most significant of the black communities in Nova Scotia, and there were like 37 of them or so. Mm -hmm. uh, New Glasgow, black folk were known throughout the black community of Nova Scotia as being, uh, well, right at the top of the list. And I, I, I say that because that's exactly how we were thought of. Um, we, um, in our community there, particularly um, at a crucial stage of development in the black communities of Nova Scotia, uh, seemed to be a conglomeration of people uh, who uh, excelled, mm -hmm. who really did adhere to that, uh, that philosophy of uh, using what uh, they had been given by those who had preceded them to take further. Um, and so therefore, out of that community uh, came many people who, uh, who were, were extremely significant um, in the, uh, uh, well, the, the overall uh, Nova Scotian society. Uh, my aunt, who was my dad's sister, uh, Dr. Perline Oliver, she was poor Perline Borden, hmm. um, married Dr. William P. Oliver, who is well known throughout Canada as have been one of the great educators coming out, uh, you know, from, from for the country. Um, well, his uh, his wife, Dr. Uh, Anne Pearl, I'll call her. Hmm. Uh, she was the first black student to graduate from New Glasgow High School. Same hmm. high school that I went to. Uh, she uh, became a, a very highly acclaimed orator and uh, uh, very, very, very prominent in the uh, African Baptist Association. Um, another cousin, many people have heard of her, Dr. Carrie M. Best. Hmm. Dr. Best is a legend in Nova Scotia. Uh, she uh, was a lady who had the first uh, radio program, black radio program, uh, in the province, um, and in my hometown, of course, called The Quiet Corner. It was very influential in what I became. What was The Quiet Corner? What would she broadcast? For 15 minutes, it started out when she did it. Uh, each evening, she would broadcast uh, um, uh, a program that had uh, references to things that were happening in the black community. She would read poetry because she read poetry beautifully and that is how I learned to do it. Mm. Uh, she was the lady who had a, 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 like a newsletter each month, the Clarion, and it was the Clarion that championed uh, the situation of Viola Desmond. Mm which took place when I was about four years old. And Viola Desmond, of course, was the woman who sat in a movie theater. Exactly. Which is where she was not supposed to. Yes.